many gentle flowers grow in an English country garden. I'll tell you now of some of them I know, and those I miss you'll surely pardon. Daffodils and season phlox, meadow sweet and lily stocks, gentle lupins and tall hollyhocks, roses, foxgloves, snowdrops, and forget-me-nots in an English country garden. Interlude. How many insects build their homes in an English country garden? I'll tell you now of some of them I know and those I miss. I trust you will pardon. Dragonflies and moths and bees, spiders falling from the trees, butterflies sway in the cool, gentle breeze. There are wasps, empty homes, and tiny little gnomes in an English country. Garden interlude. How many songbirds? Actually, I've seen some of these gardens they talk about, and the sort of impression you get is that it's wet underfoot and the leaves are thick with soot in an English country garden. Newspapers torn and strewn across the lawn in an English country garden. Littered garbage in the yards, little doggies calling cards. One scraggy rosebud peering through the weeds, for they've all down tools while they fill their football pools in an English country garden market. Join the common market. Market. Join the common market.